Hello guys, welcome back to Call Java Tutorial. Here, Prabish with you for taking this tutorial. In the previous part of this tutorial, we already see that what is an if loop and how the if loop works with an example. In this part, we are going to learn what is the if else loop in Java. An if else, unlike if, in if there is only one stage of a condition is taken that is the true stage but here in if else we are going to consider both the true and false stages of a condition that is in if else we are consider both the true and false stages of a condition here is the syntax of an if else loop here if and opening bracket here the condition like if loop the condition is also a boolean one here the statement or block of statement if there is only one statement is present then you have to eliminate these brackets if there is a block of statements under this if loop then you must embed that block of statements within these brackets and soon after if close here is the closing of if there is i place an else part here else again open bracket closing bracket here is statement or block of statement like if if there is only one statement is present then you have to use this you have to avoid these brackets if the condition is true then only the if block execute and otherwise at the same time the else part is, is skipped from execution that means if the condition is a false true one that means this boolean condition retrieve a true then this block of statement or statement will be only executes at the same time the else part will be skipped from execution otherwise if the condition is a false one that means the if condition is a false then this block of statement or statement is that means the block of statement or statement corresponding to the if is skipped from execution and the else part will execute that means at a time only one if or else is executed if the condition is a false one then the else part only executes and the if part is skipped from execution write the else part soon after the if clause here is an example for if else loop here if a greater than b then here it will print a is greater than b otherwise there is two chances are present b is greater than a or both a and b are the same okay uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for further video updates okay guys now we are going to look what is the um, use of an if else with an example I will explain the use of if else with an example in the coming up part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.